guys, it's Mike Goldstein from Kitchen Remodeling SEO, where we work exclusively with kitchen and bath designers and remodelers, helping them generate more sales and leads. So what I thought I would do for you today is show you how you can build a custom audience in Facebook to run those Facebook ad campaigns so you can really laser focus on who your ad is shown to. Um, so the first thing that you do is uh, you, you want to get into your ad set or, your, or create your new ad set. Once you're in there, uh, let's get rid of this for you. Once you're in there, uh, you and you, you've, already, you've set your budget and, and all of that, you come down and you can create a new audience by clicking on the custom audience. And then you could create a, a retarget audience or a, you know, or a lookalike audience based on people who have come to your website within the last one to one day to, to six months. You, excuse me, you could upload a customer list in Excel. You could uh, target people who have watched a certain amount of, of video that you have uploaded, 15 seconds, 50%, the whole video, things to the accent. You, you know, there's a lot of different ways in here. Uh, people who like your page, you could target on that. Um, but one of the other ways that you can do is basically by targeting people using Facebook's uh, demographics and geolocators. So let's say, for example, I'm a, I'm a small kitchen remodeling business. Um, in Inglewood, uh, Florida. So what I want to do, and let's say, I think that most of my, my customers are going to come from just the general Sarasota area. So I can put in Sarasota, Florida, and it comes right up. And then this shows me that this is going to target anybody who is within 25 miles of Sarasota. Um, I can make it a little bit larger and go up to 50 miles and go as far down as 10 miles. Um, now, one thing that's a little tricky here in, in, in this area is you'll note I get a lot of water here. So <laughs> there's a lot of people who aren't going to see it, but you also have these islands and the keys out here, Longbow, Key, Lido, whatnot. Um, so in addition to that, you can filter on age. So right now our preset is 20 to 55 years old. So if I want, let's say, instead to have only people who are 25 um, or 21 because you know, there's some kind of alcohol involved in my, in my sale. I, for kitchen remodelers, obviously that's not a big deal. Um, and you can you know, increase, decrease the, the end age. You can go up to 64 plus. Um, once you get to 64, then it's just everyone over that. Uh, we, can, we can also segment based on gender, men, women, or all gender. Um, we can even go so far as to you know, use different interests and behaviors. Um, so, you know, maybe we might want to look at cooking or we might want to look at kitchen. Uh, kitchen, now, now the problem when you put words like that, like kitchen, now we're getting job titles, kitchen manager, um, kitchen worker. So, they, so you, sometimes you have to be a little bit more specific. Now, this is an interest in kitchens. Um, so, for example, right here, uh, based on a $20 a day spend, it's, Facebook is showing us that we can expect between 981 and 2,800 people will be reached today with our with our ad. And every single one of those people live within 25 miles of Sarasota, and they have an interest in kitchens. And we can estimate between 6 and 25 clicks. Now, I'll be quite frank with you, I don't put very much stock into either of these numbers. I think that uh, it's a pure you know, guess on the computer's part. Um, but at the end of the day, this is really the way that you can go about making sure that you're you're really spent putting your ad spend to the audience that is most likely to buy from you. So again, um, my name is Michael Goldstein with Kitchen Remodeling SEO, uh, and I will be back with more videos on how to create Facebook ads, Google ads, and uh, drive more traffic and, and drive more sales through search engine optimization. Mm -hmm.